Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 574. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Chat link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 570 to 574. Hey, in our last trick, 573, we did the same trick with uh, some simple formulas and filter. Here, we want to do the trick we did over here with array formula, so it's more automatic. And here's our goal. We simply want to be able to um, well, first off, we have module one, two, three, and a module tells us which case we're interested in. So module one is case one, case three, module two is case two, case three, etc. We need to be able to just simply select this and have all of the cases for that module, meaning case one and case three, extracted automatically from this data set. All right, so let's see how to do this. First thing is, um, we want to add data validation. Uh, and the keyboard shortcut is Alt DL, Alt DL. And I'm going to ex accept in the allow text box list. And then I'm going to say the source. These are the only values that will be allowed are from that range right there. And of course, we have an in cell drop down. Click OK, and so now we can select this. Now we need to look up the cases, because we want it all automatic based on this right here. So just as we did in the last video, I'm going to say equals VLOOKUP equals VL tab in 2007 or 10. I'm going to look up this value, and I'm going to hit the F4 key twice to lock the row reference. So as I copy it down, it's locked, comma, the table array right here, F4 comma, and then the index. Well, right here, criteria one is going to be um, from column two. This is one for VLOOKUP, two, three. So I need a two right here, and then a three right here. So I'm going to do rows. And I'm going to highlight from that cell to the very same cell the VLOOKUP is in, close parentheses. Lock this one, F4. Five, how many rows from five to six? Two, but when we copy this down, the 6 will turn to a 7, so it will be 3. And we do not need this argument right here because this first column is sorted in ascending order. Close parentheses, Control Enter. So now we have uh, select this and these change. Now I have a formula here also, a text formula, equals count records that contain n double quote ampersand this, ampersand to join that text, ampersand that. That way, I have a good label, and labels in spreadsheets are sometimes as important as the formulas, right? So as we change this right here, it changes it. Now, if for our array formula, we need to count exactly how many records uh, there are for 2 and 3. Now, this is going to be an OR criteria. Um, because we really have to, well, we just want to count them. All we want to do is count. So we would we go one, two, three, and count all the twos, and then we go back and start again. Count all the threes. One, two, three. So really, guess what? All we have to use is count if twice equals count if. The range is going to be from there. Control Shift Down Arrow F4, comma, and the criteria is right there close parentheses. Now I'm going to copy this. Control C. And very carefully click right there. It's safer to come up here. And I'm going to type a plus and then Control V for paste and then simply change that double click that G6 and then click right there. So it's just going through there and counting all of them because this time it counts all the twos, this count time it counts all the threes and it adds them. By the way, when we get down to our array formula, we're going to have to do something similar because we're going to have to literally uh, look through this column and uh, find all the trues for the three and all the trues for two and then add them. All right, that's a little preview of coming events. Now if I select module one, it says there's 228. This in essence is going to be the trigger because we're going to have a big formula that's going to be copied way down. It's going to be the trigger to tell the formula past 228 records stop uh, showing the formula. All right, you ready? Done this formula many times before. This is a an array formula for extracting data. Equals if 
and we'll do rows. And I'm sitting in row F11, so I'll say F dollar sign 11 colon F11. That's our number incrementer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, as we go down. And when that is greater than this one, F4, lock it in all directions, then what do we want? So that's the logical test, comma, well, if it's greater than 228, we want to show a blank. So double quote, double quote with nothing in between, comma, otherwise the value of false. Here's the big formula. And we have to look up all of the records so that match either, in our case here, a 3 or a 1. So that one needs to come, that one needs to come, this one doesn't. So we use index. Index is an amazing lookup function. And we'll say, hey, the array, that means the value of things we want to look up. Notice we have date, amount, time, and test case all in the same order. So I'm going to click in the first column, control shift down arrow, hit F4 one time, but watch this, think about that, and then hit it again. When the formula goes down, it needs to be locked on the first column, but when this formula moves from the date column over to here, the purple range right there needs to move over there, and so we don't lock the column part of that. Whoops. Comma. Now the row number. The, so far everything's relatively straightforward. This is where it gets tricky because we have we're going to have a series of true falses based on this criteria, and it's just we're going to get true, true, false, false, true, false, etc. And we're going to have since we have so many of them, and we ultimately need for the index we need a row number. We're going to build part of our formula, goes through here, finds all the trues, and then determines what row number it is. But that will be a huge array because there's lots of trues, so there's lots of numbers. So we're going to use the small function that will, as we copy the formula down, go one by one through our array of row numbers and extract them and get get us the right record. So you ready? For the row number, the argument right there, small. Now inside the small, we need to determine a big, um, we ultimately need a bunch of row numbers here. And then that k will do our little formula increment. In fact, I'm going to copy this. Watch this. I'm going to copy this. Notice the screen tip array, comma, and then control V. Remember, this is a formula, uh, a number incrementer. So as we go down, it goes one, two, three. But think about this, what does small do? We're going to give it an array of all the row numbers that have, that are matched from our true false uh, elements. It'll give us all the row numbers there. And this will extract the first smallest, second smallest, third smallest as we go down. In essence, what it does is it says, oh, here's the first true, the second true from the one, two as we copy it down. But when we get copy down the third row, it will jump to the next true. All right, so let's build this array here. And this is going to involve if, and this is where we're going to have to do an or logical test. So we're going to have to do a second open parentheses and say, is anything in this column, control shift down arrow F4, is anything there equal to case one, F4? That is the first series of trues and falses. Now, we need to add, and this is where that or part comes in. So we add, open parentheses, actually the same exact column with the same exact comparative operator. But this time we say, is any, are any of those equal to case 3, and then F4. Now, I need to very carefully um, close parentheses on that. What this will do is this will be all the trues and falses for this one. This one will be all the trues and falses for this one. Well, when we add, we do the um, only when there's a true, um, well, when we add, the or part of it is it can be a true and a zero. In fact, it will be. It will always be true, zero, or true, I'm sorry, true, false, or true, false. So we'll always get a string of uh, ones and zeros. The only zeros are for when it gets a false here and a false here. All right, so that's the logical test. Now I'm going to comma and the value if true. Well, now from the trues and falses, I need my row number. So I'm going to go row. And you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to pick this one, Control Shift Down, arrow, F4. Now, right now, if I close parentheses, remember we're trying to get the value of true. 
row numbers. Right now, it would give us 2, 3, 4, 5, but that's not what we want. We want 1, 2, 3. So we'll subtract row of the very first one, f4. But right now, that would give us 2 minus 2, which is 0. So the very first, they'll all be off by 1, so we simply add one more. All right, now, that's the value of true for the if. This um, checking. The first part of the if right here checked if either one of those are equal to that, those criteria. Right there, that's the value if true. We do not need a value of false, so I just close parentheses. Now, we already had our comma there. We already have our rows. We have our purple parentheses for our small. The screen tip is saying, hey, row, we have that. We've already given that, so we close parentheses. We don't need a, uh, we just put in our false, so we close parentheses on that. And now this is a big array formula, so we control shift enter. Now I'm going to copy this over and immediately point to the smart tag and say fill without formatting. Now I'm going to copy it down, and this goes a long way. So this is a huge data set. This formula needs to be copied down past the maximum number of rows that it possibly could be. So I made it the whole size of the data set, just, just in case they were all matched case. Now we have our little setup. That does seem totally. Uh, a lot of work there. But uh, if it's something where you're going to be looking at this all the time, this is just as automatic as it gets. So now I'm just simply um, selecting from this drop down, and everything is updating uh, perfectly. And this is pulling the data from there to a new location. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.